it's just such a relief to to discover that it's so simple to be as we are. It's just so simple, so powerful, so beneficial to allow ourselves to be exactly as we are. Now, allowing ourselves to be exactly as we are, what does that mean? Well, in this given moment right now, just to allow your mind, whatever is going on in your mind, whatever that might be, thoughts, emotions, anything you can perceive, any sensations, descriptions, memories, um, what you had for breakfast this morning, the wonderful lunch that's to come, <laughs> the feeling of sitting in this chair, just to allow those perceptions just to be exactly as they are. Just to allow everything to be exactly as it is for a short moment. Just so simple. To not attempt to change the flow of your mind in any way. Just complete relaxation, a mode of complete relaxation. The simplest mode of being, you could say. Totally natural. And even any attempts to contrive, allow that to be as it is too. Totally natural. And um, this completely relaxed mode of being is, is already the case. It's innate to all of us. It's, uh, there's nothing we need to do to make it the case. And we can remind ourselves that relaxation is always, always available. Now, through my life, I definitely, before meeting the Balance You training, thought that relaxation was, um, was categorized in a certain way in my experience. It, it required certain factors to be there, like pleasant thoughts, <laughs> um, pleasant sensations in the body, the right setting, maybe a spa. Then, then I can relax, or when I'm on holiday, then I can relax. You know, then relaxation is really happening. Other times, you know, being busy or being stressed or uh, frustrated or annoyed or confused or making mistakes or feeling sorry, these aren't within the realm of complete relaxation. These are my opportunity, these are my triggers to get to get really worked up. I've got to do something about this. I've got to be on this because these are thoughts and emotions that I don't want. This is a circumstance that requires immediate, immediate, uh, intensive, <laughs> intensive focus, action, and uh, I need to get in there and work out why this is happening. It's probably my fault. It's probably somebody else's fault. Who can I blame? Why? Where, what's the cause of this? I've got to work this out because, because once I've got the cause, once I've found it, the cause, then I can relax. <laughs> then, then, I'll see that all is well if I just know why. And uh, with being introduced, meeting the Balance You training, I, I discovered a new way to use my mind, a new way to approach all experience where relaxation is the immediate go-to, immediate go-to. No messing, <laughs> no messing around, direct, direct access. And what we get introduced to is the already completely relaxed nature of our mind, already completely relaxed nature of reality as it is. Reality is completely relaxed already. Everything arising, resolving back into the basic space of everything with no effort. What is making all of that happen? Me? No. <laughs> I'm not making all of that happen. God, that would be... I mean, it is a full-time job when we think we are. <laughs> when we think we are making the thoughts in our mind occur, not occur, under control, this is a full-time job with no pay. It's crap. 
Sorry, you'd quit immediately. We'd all be like, bye, I'm out of here. No, but we, like, we just carry on, carry on, carry on, because we think it's what we're meant to do and we don't have to do it. We can just relax, we can just relax. So what we get to know through the Balance You training is called open intelligence, the term we used to use in the teaching is awareness. So thank you, Brian, for answering that question. It's, uh, the terminology has evolved with the teaching over time. So open intelligence. Open intelligence is the fundamental nature of your mind and you can be introduced to it right now. It's not something far off, it's always here, it's always on, it's always available, it's always the case. We just gain assurance and get used to it. That's when it becomes continuous, when we recognize it that way. We're not making anything the case. So to introduce yourself to open intelligence, just stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Openness, clarity, alertness, open intelligence that's open like a vast sky. Thoughts come back in, open intelligence remains. Open intelligence knows the thoughts. No thoughts are there, open intelligence remains. Sensations in the body, Sounds, open intelligence remains. Your power to know, your power to perceive is always on. It's fundamental, it's primary, and you can recognize it. You have access to this, and so does every single human being alive. And then since you've been introduced, you can return to it at any point. In short moments, short moments of recognizing open intelligence, repeated, again and again, until you recognize that open intelligence is obviously continuous all the time. All the time. Regardless of the thoughts, emotions, or experience, which we just call data in the teaching. Regardless of the data streams that you might be perceiving. And what we can see is that these data streams these perceptions are completely inseparable from open intelligence. Indivisible, like the color blue in the sky. And the data there, the dynamic energy, the, the, the dynamic power of our intelligence. And so in the practice of short moments, we just allow the data to be as it is for a short moment. We rely on open intelligence to allow the data to be as it is, whatever it is, for a short moment. We rest as the ground of being, the ground of that perception, at the basis of that perception. And we see for ourselves the result. So you can test that right now. Right now, whatever might be arising. And, um, and what, what I started to see with this practice was that firstly there was this immediate openness available to me in any moment, the openness of open intelligence in, in any data stream that might be arising. And that this quality of openness was always on, was always on. And that the data stream, so, you know, the feelings of, of making mistakes or um, any, like, anything that might be coming up, the stress that I didn't want to have, that in a short moment of open intelligence, when I just allowed that to be as it is for a short moment, that the data stream ar arise, arose, ar arisen, <laughs> um, arose in open intelligence, abided for a moment, and resolved on its own, like a line drawn in space, leaving no trace, just like that. And check it out for yourself. The thought you had a moment ago, where is it? Where's it gone? The thing that you were stressed about this morning, where is it? Where are those thoughts? You might be able to conjure them up, you know, in the, you know that one, you're like, but I was really stressed earlier. <laughs> I was really stressed about that thing, and now I'm going to think about it a bit more and bring the stress into the current moment and pick up that heavy load and wear it on my back and just to sort of confirm that I was stressed earlier. But really, that too just resolves on its own, leaving no trace, back into the basic space of open intelligence. And in a short moment, we, we drop the heavy load of whatever it might be that we feel we are carrying. 
Again and again, short moments of open intelligence. We return, it's like a reset button, returning to our most basic mode, the relaxed space of reality as it is. Inclusive of all data, so this is so important that um, this isn't a practice of getting rid of anything. This isn't a practice of positive thoughts and emotions. This is a practice of complete rela relationship with all experience, with all data, with all people, where we see how human we are, where we can experience everything, everything open-heartedly, from the stable ground of open intelligence that is unaffected by any of the data streams that are arising within it. Always remaining pristine, clear, open, pure. So is our true nature, so is the nature of our mind. The training of balanced view, it's, you know, we train this up, we train this up. This is, however this might feel to you or your assessments of it, however maybe uneventful, <laughs> The introduction to open intelligence might seem to you, or eventful, I don't know, it might be any direction. Um, but know that, because I speak from my own experience here, that the continued showing up, the continued training up of this recognition fruits inconceivable benefit. Like simply from the very first moment, we recognize reality, we recognize open intelligence, and then the balance you training offers, offers incredible support to bring this into our lives so that we can live with clarity, openness, stability, and empowerment in every single moment, rather than being pushed around by our thoughts and emotions and taking them to be true and having an independent power that can harm us or push us in directions we don't want to go. We have the stability of open intelligence where the data streams are part of the dynamic display that empower us moment by moment. And the, the turning point hugely for me was the 12 Empowerments training. It's a foundational training of balanced view and we have a 12 Empowerments starting on Monday. It's an incredible, incredible <coughs> teaching that takes you, you take a really clear look at your life all of the belief systems, the relationships, resentments, you know, hidden corners that for me, I never wanted to share with anyone. I didn't even want to admit them to myself. And we shine the light, openness of open intelligence on that. We see that there, right there too, is the power to be of benefit to all. That we, there is nothing to fear in our experience and that everything, everything is our opportunity to contribute powerfully in the world, that there is no limits, there's no limits on our abilities to relate openly, lovingly, powerfully, and to really contribute to the world. And this is in a 12-day a, a training which really opens so much up. And I saw for myself, I just, it was like a wake-up call. It was like a wake-up call but in a gentle way. It was so, the whole context, the whole process of the training was just so empowering and normalizing, getting to see how very human I am. And, um, and then, you know, this is a, the, the practice of short moments. It really comes alive through this teaching. We really see how we can apply it in our lives, how open intelligence can support us and how we can be of benefit in, in all areas, all aspects of life. And um, yeah, it's the balance you training has so much available really to make this a lived reality where we're not relying on a philosophy about the nature of mind, but it's something recognizable, it's something real lived in our own experience.